name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. We are for the attention of the Mass for Eugene Chernick. Uh, also have a young man with us today celebrating his 15th birthday. Uh, would you know who that would be? Happy birthday. <laughs> As we enter into these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sin. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Show gracious favor, O Lord, we pray, to the works of penance we've begun, that we may have strength to accomplish with sincerity the bodily observances we undertake. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, cry out full-throated and unsparingly, lift up your voice like a trumpet blast. Tell my people their wickedness and the house of Jacob their sins. They seek me day after day and desire to know my ways. Like a nation that has done what is just and not abandoned, the law of their God. They ask me to declare what is due to them, pleased to gain access to God. Why do we fast and you do not see it? Afflict ourselves and you take no note of it. Lo, on your fast day you carry out your own pursuits and drive all your laborers. Yes, your fast ends in quarreling and fighting striking with a wicked claw. Would that today you might fast so as to make your voice heard on high. Is this the manner of fasting I wish, of keeping a day of penance, that a man bow his head like a reed and lie in sackcloth and ashes? Do you call this a fast, a day acceptable to the Lord? This, rather, is the fasting that I wish, releasing those bound unjustly, untying the thongs of the yoke, setting free the oppressed, breaking every yoke, sharing your bread with the hungry, sheltering the oppressed and the homeless, clothing the naked when you see them, and not turning your back on them. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. The word of the Lord. Be to God. The responsorial psalm, a heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. A heart, a heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt and of my sin, cleanse me. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. 
Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. A heart contrite and humbled, O Lord, you will not spurn. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Seek good and not evil so that you may live and the Lord will be with you. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ King, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, Why do we and the Pharisees fast much, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. going to preach politics today, but they're not Democratic or Republican politics. They're the politics that our Lord presents us in Isaiah. Do you call this a fast, a day acceptable to the Lord? This rather is the fasting that I wish, releasing those bound unjustly, untying the thongs of their yoke, setting free the oppressed, breaking every yoke, sharing your bread with the hungry, sheltering the oppressed and the homeless, clothing the naked when you see them, and not turning your back on your own. There are two issues I see that are not very well addressed by either of our political parties, but are critical, I think, to the well-being of the nation. But they're really questions, and the question is, how does an ignorant population serve our general well-being? And the second one is, how does a sick population serve our general well-being? We know that the most dangerous thing that can happen to a family is grave illness, because the cost of medical care is so high that for the average American family. Now this is a tough one, frankly, for us here in Alpharetta because we're not average. We're economically way above average for the most part. Uh, a serious illness will strip a family of its economic resources. And without those resources, it's, a, it's like dominoes. Uh, if you don't have good economic resources, your children don't eat well. If they don't eat well, they cannot learn as well as a rule. Uh, if your family becomes unstable in terms of housing, just those moves, constant moving, can be so disruptive to a family that children can't learn. And so we wind up with an ignorant population 
an ignorant generation, if you will, that cannot do some of the things that we would demand of them that would be helpful to all of us to do. A vibrant economy serves everybody well. Everybody. This is the fast thing that I wish. Releasing those bound unjustly, untying the thongs of the yoke, setting free the oppressed, breaking every yoke, sharing your bread with the hungry, sheltering the oppressed and the homeless, clothing the naked when you see them, and not turning your back on your own. Now let's look at that from a more positive perspective. If we were to do that, what would the results be for you? Because I always say that, I love telling kids this in confession, the reason sin's called sin is because it doesn't work. And the number one person that it harms is the sinner. Uh, turn that the other way, virtue benefits the virtuous as well as others. How would you feel, any one of us, how would we feel if some relatively small thing we did was able to enable a child to do better in school, enable that child to go on for further study? Uh, how good would we feel if a relatively small effort on our part stabilized a family that was otherwise economically unstable so that they could remain in one place with the stability, therefore, that their children would be able to count on that would then further their ability to study. How would that make you feel? I think it'd make me feel real good. Real, real good. Uh, this is the fast thing that I wish. May this Lent enable us to fast as our God would wish. Confident that he will hear and answer the prayers which we offer in Christ's name. For members of the church, may God draw us ever closer to himself during this Lenten season. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations and all those in authority, may God guide them in governing with wisdom and compassion. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who struggle with mental illness, may God's healing grace come upon them. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community of faith, may the Holy Spirit enkindle in us a fire for the corporal works of mercy during this Lenten season. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially for Eugene Turner, for whom this Mass is offered, may he and all who, have, who sleep in Christ will rejoice with God in their eternal home in heaven. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, our Father, please hear and answer these our prayers, both spoken and unspoken which we offer from our hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. 
fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer, O oh Lord, the sacrifice of our Lenten observance, praying that it may make our intentions acceptable to you and add to our powers of self-restraint. Through Christ our Lord, Lord be with you. With your spirit. Up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride. Contribute to the feeding of the poor. And so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glad we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, o, o God, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Gregory, our bishop, Joel and Bernard, his auxiliaries, all the clergy and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. God, take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter the mother of my womb. Only say the word. A little detail, but it would be helpful to me if you'll extend your hands through because here I can't see them. I have to kind of all the way through. Thank you, body of Christ.
Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that through partaking of this mystery, we may be cleansed of all our misdeeds and so be suited for the remedies of your compassion. Through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. With your spirit. Mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your lives. Thanks be to God.